Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, family, friends, loved ones, um, everybody. So how y'all doing today? Um, again, it's Queen Poetry 73. Um, I'm not going to do a poetry today. I just decided that I would uh, talk about something that um, I don't think a lot of us are aware of. Uh, maybe a lot of us have gone through it, but didn't realize what we were in, and I'm a living witness to it. Um, I'm going to talk about gaslighting. Um, gaslighting is a term that you hear when someone speaks of narcissism or narcissistic um, or NPD, which is narcissistic um, personality disorder. Um, a very touchy subject. I will not get into narcissism or narcissistic um, personality disorder. Like I said, it's a very touchy subject and it would take a lot longer than this. But I am going to speak on gaslighting today. Um, the definition of gaslighting is to manipulate someone by psychological means into questioning their own sanity. Uh, back in 1944, there was a movie called Gaslight, okay, and it tells uh, the story of a woman being gaslighted by her husband. And um, although I've not seen the movie, I am very familiar with the terminology and study of and have lived it. Um, so I'm going to bring to light a few clues that may be helpful uh, to some of you all out there, um, um, some of you all that, you know, you may be in a friendship, you may be in a relationship, a bed ship, a sex ship, or torment ship, or whatever ship um, you are aboard. This is real. It is um, not a game. Uh, people are being manipulated. People are being hurt uh, in behind a uh, this um, disorder and this abuse. But I would tell you that it is real. It has happened and it is happening today. Um, a few clues here for the sake of time. I will not be long. Um, but anytime I reference the Bible, I reference New Living Translations. Um, you know, um, I always let you know that, you know, what God has to say about what I'm discussing. But when you find yourself questioning something that you saw with your own eyes or heard with your own ears and the person you are with tries to convince you that what you saw and heard is not true, guess what? You're being gaslighted. Okay, another clue. When the person you are with creates a situation that causes chaos and when you react to the situation now you got outsiders looking at you like you are the culprit or like you are crazy once again you're being gaslighted another clue when the person you are with says one thing about a particular situation and you give your opinion or remind them of what they said and they become frustrated again that's gaslighting another clue when you're being accused of being a cheater and they tell you that they saw the person you are cheating with and you know within your heart of hearts that you are not cheating that's gaslighting okay if you feel like expressing yourself to someone and some and and the other person doesn't allow you to express yourself or they allow or they won't let you um speak your peace and they over talk you and they overturn you and pay no mind to what you're trying to express they don't care about your feelings they don't care about anything other than themselves and what they have going on, it's all about them. Now you're getting into narcissism. 
and Narcissus is um, um, a man that looked at himself in, in the lake and fell in love with his shadow. So it's about them. It's whatever they say. It's whatever they're doing. It's whatever they want. You don't matter. What you, how you feel don't matter. It's long as it's about them. This is one of the narcissistic characteristics. They do not care about how you feel, about what you said, about how what they did made you feel. When you are witnessing things like this, they're not good, they're unhealthy, and they are very toxic. So my advice to you and all of you out there that are listening, um, if you have witnessed um, this or is witness it as we speak, my advice to you is to seek, you know, God's face for, for his direction. Because the word of God says, with all thy getting, get a clear and just understanding. That, that is the word of God. And, you know, and, and seek, you know, some form of um, um, therapy. Get you some therapeutic relief. Because it is real. It is not going to go away until you walk away. And God will have a plan of escape for you. If you want out, God will make a way of escape for you. It's in his word and he will do it. But if you feel that you are being or is being manipulated, you know, or is, is you know, being subjected to this type of abuse. Again, my advice for you is to to walk away. It is unhealthy. It is torment. It's toxic. And it is also demonic and it is not of God. So I just wanted to get, you know, before you today and give you a little bit of, of what I, you know, written about and just wanted to share it because it's real. You can look up the term narcissism or narcissistic personality disorder, which is NPD. And you can also look up gaslighting. You know, it's not fair when you are dating or when you are in a friendship and you're being treated as such with these uh, type of um, manipulative, you know, uh, devices, because that's what they are. They're very demonic, you know, but then again, you know, it's up to you. Only you will allow what someone does to you. And I'll witness, I will tell you no one and nothing controls or rules my life, but the spirit of the living God. No one. And anyone that's trying to control or rule you, they're not for you. It may seem like it in the beginning, but you know, as time goes on, your only time tells a story in hindsight is 2020. But God will give a way of escape. He always does. So that is my charge to you all today is to, you know, look at your friendships, your bedships, your sex ships, your relationships or whatever ship you're aboard. And look closely, you know, clear your eyes, wipe the smoke from your eyes. Because a lot of it is smoking mirrors. I done a video on that too, smoking mirrors. Um, yes, so um, my charge to you today is to look at your, you know, look at what you're in. If you feel that it is unhealthy, then nine times out of ten, you've probably been gaslighted. So again, I love you guys. You have a blessed day. Stay uplifted, stay encouraged, be empowered. And most of all, you know, see God like never before in this hour. And until next time, I love you all and you all have a blessed day. Goodbye.